Hi, and welcome to 24 Router TV. I'm Marcus, and today I'm going to teach you how to use a toilet auger. Stay tuned. Okay, so today the customer says that they're pretty sure the kids put some toys down the toilet. Uh -oh. So we don't know exactly what we're going to get into just yet. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the back tank. And where the flapper is, we're going to go ahead and flush it and get it, get the toilet level built up a little bit here with water. But we want this open because when we flush it, if it starts to overfill, we can put our finger down there and push that flapper back down so it doesn't overfill. So let's go ahead and flush it. Okay, so it's struggling to go down. It's going down slow. Uh -oh. So this particular auger that we're looking at is a professional version. You'll see that this right here has, this one has a retriever head. So not only can it push any obstructions through the pipe, it can also, with this hook, grab a hold of anything that's in there, puncture it, and pull it back out. In theory. A lot of times it does, sometimes it doesn't. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how that's done. Okay, so with the toilet auger, one of the hardest things to do sometimes is getting the head started. So you want to put it in there and then you want to lean it back like so. It's also very important because you have to lean this auger back is you'll notice if it's showing in the camera we have stuff that sits on the shelves over here. So we just got to be very careful. For now, I'm going to go, because I'm right-handed, I'm going to go and turn around and auger it this direction. So I am twisting and working that, that auger, trying to get up through the trap. And it's getting caught on something. And with this particular one, what you do, you don't want to uh, really force it or else it'll come uh, uh, twist your uh, auger of the snake portion of it like so. So you want to go ahead and get a hold, get a good, like so, let off a little bit of pressure and then yes, and that didn't do it. We might have something hard in the toilet like a toy. So just continue working it. still not grabbing hold of whatever's in there. Uh -oh. The way these toilets work is off of gravity and so when you flush it adds enough water in here to where it gives it enough head pressure, water weight, that it pushes everything down through the trap and if you look back here behind this toilet, this is what they call the toilet trap right here if you'll see that right there okay and so if an object gets stuck in there more often than not if it's just toilet paper or something kind of smaller that can be pushed through or grabbed hold of it's going to be right stuck in this section right here sometimes it gets past that and it gets stuck right in this area. Okay, so for this particular toilet, 
auguring the normal way isn't going to work. So usually the next step is step number two, which means we're gonna to have to end up pulling this toilet off, set it on the floor, and try to auger it from the bottom side. Let's do that now. Once you get the toilet off, set it down on a towel, have somebody holding it at the other end. You can take that auger, and most of the time it'll just push whatever's in there out. Ah, sure enough. There's the toy, there's the little cars. Yep. And there's the culprit. Gabriel, we found your toys. Yeah, that'll work. Don't get toys in it that way. Here she goes. Nice little double flush at the end, I like that. Hey, thanks for watching today. Be sure to like and subscribe down below, and also open up the description where there'll be links to 24rooter.com that'll have a little more information about toilets that you can learn today. Thanks, and have a good one.